I think people do tend to take the energy in their homes for granted because it is a simple flick of a switch. We've got used to a very high standard of living and it's using a lot of energy. So the main problem is how to continue living like that and yet decrease our emissions and save the planet. I'm Dr. Sarah Kimpton, Vice President at DNV, and I believe that we can replace fossil fuels with low carbon hydrogen to decarbonize our world. The one thing that I love most about my role is working with DNV to make a big contribution to reducing emissions and reducing climate change. The world needs multiple pathways to net zero carbon emissions. What's exciting about hydrogen is it gives those hard to decarbonize sectors a clean pathway. When it burns, it releases energy, and the only byproduct is water. The other great thing about it is that it can be flowed through the gas network and be delivered to our homes, so that on the day when your local gas company comes to convert your home, it'll only take an hour to change out the burners in those appliances. Hydrogen is being classified into different colours, so green hydrogen is hydrogen that's being produced using renewable power, so that means that the carbon emissions are very, very low. But because we need so much energy in the UK, we're going to have to produce hydrogen at scale quite quickly, and the quickest way to do that is blue hydrogen. We can split natural gas into hydrogen, but it's important we then capture the CO2 that comes from that. Otherwise, blue hydrogen is not part of the solution. DMV's goal in hydrogen testing is to provide the evidence that hydrogen is a safe way of delivering heat and energy. The H21 project is a commitment to really understand how hydrogen will behave both in houses and homes and also in the distribution network. At first glance, hydrogen looks very similar to natural gas. But in reality, its physical properties and its energy content are very different. So it's really important to study how hydrogen behaves and moves through a gas transportation network designed for natural gas. Here at our DNV remote testing site in Cumbria, we're undertaking a lot of research. Some of the things we're testing are how it would travel underneath the streets, or how it would behave if it were to leak into our homes and where it would get to. Lots of people will talk about hydrogen embrittlement, that's the way hydrogen interacts with steel. So we're also investigating that to make sure that when hydrogen comes in contact with metals, it will be safe. The best thing about having a remote site in Cumbria for testing is that we can undertake some quite big explosions. Some of the explosions are actually quite big, there's a lot of background knowledge and technical expertise behind it. But it's very, very important for our customers to see explosions as it stops them from being complacent about some of the things that they're undertaking on a daily basis. We expect to see hydrogen in people's homes really quite soon, possibly by about 2025. What really excites me is how DMV can play a role in the energy transition, because incremental won't get us there. 2050 really isn't very far away, and there's an awful lot that we need to do. And if we were to replace natural gas with hydrogen, that would be one way to ensure that we live in a cleaner, greener world.